Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 18th, 2019. So, hey everyone, yesterday, last week I had a really challenging week. If you've watched the news at all, you've probably seen news about the um, incredible flooding that we had here in Nebraska. Um, I I was not unaffected by that. Uh, uh, the uh, basement of my house flooded. Um, luckily, I caught it early and um, have been able to, uh, well, just with some a lot of perseverance and, and nonstop work, um, able to um, prevent the damage from getting too bad and as of um, as of yesterday all of the cleanup has been completed at my house and I can now begin the reconstruction um, going on um, luckily I can do all that work myself being a former carpenter I can do all that work myself because the uh, there's there's devastation um, across the state of Nebraska. Um, honestly, we were very lucky here by comparison to a lot of folks. So um, um, we can start rebuilding uh, pretty soon. I can do it myself. Um, there's not gonna be a contractor available in this area for a long, long time because of all the damage and destruction in this area. So I wanted to, um, to let everyone know, and this is from myself and my wife, thank you very much for all of the kind comments and, and uh, uh, nice notes and everything that was sent to us um, as we were dealing with this. Our internet was restored on Saturday, which was great because that, well, I, I found out that that tested the limits of my sanity. Um, uh, a trader without internet, that's pretty rough. But <laughs> uh, internet has been restored and things are getting back to normal. So once again, thank you everyone for your kind concern. Let's take a look at the markets here. First off, Diamonds, um, you know, has done a really good job considering uh, the challenges that they have faced with Boeing pulling back so strongly. You can see this morning that uh, the Dow is is now, you know, just slightly lower this morning in the futures. We're looking at 30 points. Um, we've varied quite a lot this morning. We've been down um, over 80 points uh, as the morning has, has moved along here and we've kind of fought around in this area. So let's keep in mind, what do, we, what do we have going on here in the Dow? Well, let's not try to predict the market. Let's just take a look at what the market is showing us we do have price resistance in this area and as you can see we we still carry that kind of ugly rejection candle right there so we're going to want to be careful as we rally back to that price resistance watch that closely if we were to get some kind of a failure pattern to occur in here that could certainly be bearish for the overall market if that were to occur and i would suggest a move back down into this area could happen however if those bulls manage to push this on through and it's very possible that they can uh, the, remember we're, we're still waiting for um, uh, news on the u.s china trade deal and yeah, something like that could move us on through but keep in mind, if we do poke up through this level, we still have resistance levels above that we have to deal with. So there's a lot of work yet here to do by the bulls if we're going to uh, move on through and maybe uh, attack these um, all-time highs. So lots of work here yet to accomplish um, in the Dow. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, similar situation. SPY challenging this resistance right up in here. We tried to break through there last week three times, tried to break through, and by the end of the day, uh, those levels had been pushed back down. Now this morning, we're giving it another shot with the futures being just slightly positive here, and you can see we still have significant levels of resistance above still in this chart that we've yet to deal with as we continue to pound on the door here trying to break through uh, this level of resistance above so let's keep an eye on that closely 
with what's going on. Uh, remember, uh, we want to be really careful not to over trade or overextend ourselves as we're pressing against price resistance. As a matter of fact, it's a really good place if you have profits in trades to think about taking some of those profits to lighten up on your risk in those positions um, as we push against those resistance levels. So watch those closely. We wanna be really careful in this area. Anything is possible, anything is possible. We could pop through and just really start uh, pushing for those higher numbers or a failure here would obviously uh, technically create some uh, damage in the chart. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues have been able to push right on through. Had a big week in the NASDAQ last week, pushing through these three consecutively. There we go, three, con three consecutive resistance levels, pushing right on through with, um, with really no, um, no regard to them whatsoever, except for Friday. We pushed up through there and then we started to struggle Keep in mind, even if we get through and hold above there, there's still this uh, level right in here that we'll have to pay attention to that is um, pretty darn strong as well. So we'll want to watch that price resistance. This morning, futures in the NASDAQ are once again pushing higher. So we're seeing some nice movement here on the on the queues. Just be respectful of those price resistance levels. If we start seeing failure patterns, you'll want to respect that. And uh, remember to just, you know, as we're pushing these levels, make sure you're taking some profits, putting some money in your account. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM struggling here just a little bit, um, breaking back above this resistance level, as you can see, and just struggling to kind of hang in there with it. It looked like Friday there was a chance it could fail, but ended up closing right in that area. And this morning we're seeing a little bit of bullish push here on that as well. So watch these resistance levels above here if we continue to push on higher in IWM. Of course, what we do not want to see, we really don't want to see this failure pattern here and that failure of that resistance because that would suggest uh, moving back down for a test here or even down into this area. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX continues to slide south and and almost almost a little bit of a concern for me how much the market is uh, seems to almost be complacent um, right now as we continue to um, dump fear here in the market continuing to move lower um, you know that's a good thing we want to see that fear continuing to drop out of the market uh, for those bullish moves but we don't want to see us become too overly complacent either and as we push down in here watch this price support in this area any fear starts creeping in we've got some resistance levels right in here that we can um, hopefully depend on to resist uh, that fear from creeping up too much and um, some serious selling in the market coming into play. So let's watch that closely. Just be a little bit cautious on the potential of some complacency. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we've bounced around here a bit. We after holding up here for a long, long time, we moved down, didn't quite make it down here to this bullish uh, reversal zone, uh, bounced off of that early. And since then we've we shot right back up and then uh, the end of the week here just kind of bounced around. So where we are right now, T2122 isn't really telling us a whole lot other than we have the potential from right here. We have room to go to the upside. We also have room to go to the downside downside so we're kind of stuck in this middle uh, zone right here and we'll have to pay attention to that and that might be cr um, a critical clue um, with what we have on our economic calendar 
today. Let's take a look at that really, really quick. Um, on our economic calendar, we have the big FOMC meeting. FOMC meeting starts, to, whoops, starts tomorrow, um, and we won't get uh, the announcement until 2 p.m. on Wednesday with the FOMC forecast and the Fed Chair press conference. So don't be too surprised after the morning rush. And what I mean by that morning rush, we get the morning pop and all that flurry of activity that we could see the market kind of rest and uh, get choppy, low volume as we wait for this real critical number um, this real quick critical report to come out. So watch that. Remember, we're pressing resistance. The bulls are doing a good job of defending. Bears are doing a good job of defending. It wouldn't be a big surprise to see us kind of get light and choppy as we wait for that FOMC. Keep in mind that today we do have the housing market index at 10 a.m., unlikely to move the market around a lot. And also keep in mind today is one of the last big earnings days of this first quarter. The first quarter earnings seem to drag on forever, but um, the last really big day, we really start to, um, to slow down as we uh, move through the next couple of weeks. Keep in mind, however, there are still some very notable earnings coming up that we'll wanna pay attention to in those earnings reports. So just kind of tying all of this together, don't be at all surprised if we see some light choppy price action little bit of back and forth might slip us into a bit of a consolidation so we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that and also keep in mind that as the uh, as we continue to to struggle here on the dow a little bit with what's going on in uh, boeing it's going to be really critical i think that boeing holds above this key level right in here if boeing were to slip below there if Boeing were to drop below in here, we could see uh, that Dow become much more bearish and actually drag the rest of the market down a little bit. So watch that close. We want to see Boeing hang in that area. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave leave a, a comment. Uh, folks, anytime you click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments, it, it helps those al algorithms show these videos to more folks. And I truly, truly appreciate it as we continue to try and grow this channel with the whole idea of just traders helping traders um, improve uh, the results. So um, please help me out in, in clicking those thumbs up and, and leaving those quick comments. I do try to answer them all. You guys are the best and I appreciate it. Also, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Share it out there on Facebook, share it out there on Twitter or whatever platform you're using. Um, share that out there. That also helps a ton. So with that, hey, let's take a look at a few things that we'll want to pay attention to um, and a few things that I have on my watch list that I'm watching um, relatively closely. Let's take a look at Apple. Now, Apple moved up really strongly last week and that could continue this move. But what's cool about this uh, chart or great about this chart that we want to watch is breaking back above these resistance levels. So if Apple can maybe rest a little bit, consolidate a little bit, Apple may be a really, really good opportunity um, to move on higher and continue to um, advance here in the market. So up here around 200 looks like a really a uh, good potential target, which is another 15, 16 points higher. Um, if it well, even more, if we can get that little consolidation or resting pattern uh, in that chart. Take a look at STX. STX, really nice pattern. It tried to go here on Friday, as you can see, popping up, pulling back to support, tried to come on up here on Friday. Don't be surprised if this kind of slips sideways a little bit more and all it's doing is moving back over here toward its trend but that is one that we want to watch hey guys keep in mind that any of these stocks that i mentioned these are not recommended
recommendations to buy or sell. Please keep in mind that what I look at these charts and the reason I share these charts is just something to keep, you know, put on your watch list to watch and evaluate for potential trades. These are not recommendations in any way, shape, or form. And I wouldn't want anyone to think that just because I mention it, these are the trades to, uh, to be taking uh, right away. Let's take a look at um, EA. EA, if you guys remember, I've been talking about this one for a while, and, and I suggested right down in here as we popped up to be careful to watch because there's a good chance this will move over toward its trend. And that's exactly what's occurring here. We're just kind of chopping sideways over toward the trend. I think it would be a good idea to maybe keep an eye on EA. Um, we certainly have a great pattern here to potentially move higher. Might want to keep an eye on that chart. Take a look at WDC. WDC is another one of those charts that tried to get going here on Friday. And as you can see, we pulled back, popped up, hit this price resistance right in here, came back down, tested this price support, and now we're trying to hang out here. All we need is that poke, that push right on through here. Uh, if the bulls can pu pump it up through this area, we begin a new uptrend here, and that could really signal some nice upside here for WDC. So one to keep an eye on. Of course, keep an eye on those um, uh, cannabis stocks. Cannabis stocks, um, have just been really, really good trades um, so far this year. And as you can see, cannabis continues uh, here in Crone, continues to consolidate sideways. Watch this closely. It may be coming back to its original trend. Okay, we could see this consolidate over toward its original trend before it goes. So keep an eye on that. And all that is, is that's kind of normal. If you take a look at just um, at just three moving averages in a chart, and take, let's move this to a daily, you can see all we're doing, this is the 34 exponential moving average, the eight exponential moving average, and the three exponential moving average. And all we're doing is giving it time for that 34 to catch up. And if we can catch up, we uh, can certainly move on higher after such a big explosive move here in the chart. So keep an eye on Crone. Really uh, nice looking chart. And it may get some help today. Um, TLRY is reporting earnings today, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Another chart, ACB, um, in that in that area just a beautiful rally up here on acb um, last week really nice and strong looking great could attack these resistance highs up here so watch that chart um, i wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of rest or pullback in this chart soon so i wouldn't chase this this would be one to wait for the next earnings Alrighty, let's take a look at a chart UAA, Under Armour. Under Armour, now we've got kind of a, a double pattern here. We have the possibility of a little head and shoulders top here on this chart. But if this can hold above this support level right in here, this can chop around, hold this support area. Then we have that opportunity for a nice move up. So you might want to keep UAA on your list. So with that everyone, hey, I wanna wish everyone a great day. This video is a little bit longer than normal because I wanted to thank everyone for so many well wishes about um, the flood damage that we had. Just know that, hey, it's been an awful lot of work, but it could have been a lot worse. And we're honestly very, very thankful for that. It could have been just tremendously worse. Um, so, um, Thank you to everyone and, and all of your kind comments. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Take care of yourselves. And if you're struggling as a trader, please keep up the hard work. Never give up on that dream. And we'll talk to you all bright and early. First thing, Tuesday morning. Have a good one.